When considering earlier periods of history, one must take care not to fall into an unjust condemnation of them. The injustice involved in slavery, the cruelty involved in the subjugation of persons and nations, is not to be measured by our own standards. For in those days, the instinct for justice had not yet been so far developed. Who dare reproach the Genevan Calvin for having burned the physician Servito? It was a consistent action that flowed from his convictions, and the Inquisition too was equally justified. Only the views that then predominated were false, and led to consequences that seem to us harsh because those views have become alien to us. And what? In any event is the burning of a single individual compared with everlasting punishment in hell for almost everybody. And yet this idea dominated all the world at that time, without its much greater horrors doing any essential damage to the idea of a god. With us, too, political sectarians are treated harshly and cruelly. But because one has learned to believe in the necessity of the state, one is not as sensible of the cruelty as one is in the former case, where we repudiate the ideas behind it. The cruelty toward animals, exhibited by children and Italians, is attributable to want of understanding. The animal has, especially in the interest of ecclesiastical teaching, been placed too far below man. Much that is horrific and inhuman in history, in which one can hardly bear to believe, is likewise ameliorated when we consider that he who ordered it and he who carried it out are different people. The former does not see it, and his imagination therefore receives no strong impression of it. The latter obeys one set above him and does not feel responsible. From lack of imagination, most princes and military leaders can easily seem cruel and harsh without being so. Egoism is not evil, because the idea of one's neighbor, the expression is of Christian origin and does not correspond with truth, is very weak in us, and we feel almost as free of responsibility for him as we do for plants and stones. That the other suffers has to be learned, and it can never be learned fully. 